Hi, Leah. Welcome to your late March reading, but not really. It's your eclipse reading. And we already know what the astrology is. So we can talk about all the technicalities in the extended. But let's shuffle through and uh, do what we do. Three of Wands and the Knight of Wands. You know when it's just time, whether life pushes you there or you willingly, happily buy the ticket and go yourself, there is just a moment where things have to move forward. If you find yourself clinging to the past right now, a la J-Lo, you're getting dragged. If you are hardly able to wait for your new life to start and there is some definitive plan, trip, moment, conversation that you have coming up that you're like, yes, this will be the beginning. You're flowing. You're flowing with what's coming. The easier you can get into this youthful Knight of Wands energetic, fiery energy. It is airy season. Take advantage of the fire. The easier you flow with this fire, the better everything is. Now, if you are of the ilk that is clinging to the past and somehow still searching for an identity where there isn't one, where there isn't one, not because there never was one, but because you have evolved and you have now to confront the reflection of your evolution. Now the world begins to mirror the internal changes. So if the internal has not changed, this truth that should be so welcome and integrated so easily feels really bad. Like raising the dead, it feels so judgmental, it feels so harsh. Probably because these are truths that you should have been told or should have been confronted years prior, which is why you're in a period of hanging on right now instead of letting go. But from what I can tell, most of you have let go. And for most of you, that means that this is not only welcome, but really appreciated. It reconfirms what you've already written in your notes, what you already have decided for yourself. It coincides with your plans for yourself. And they're big plans. They're big plans. Mashallah, it's all very good as long as you are being completely honest with who you've been, who you are now, and what you sincerely want to be moving forward. Your aspirations... Your goals, your dreams, they're very favored right now. And in the midst of this, perhaps there is an older figure. A father, a mentor, a boss, a teacher. Hmm, that you've had some sort of a strange relationship with. And this person, within this eclipse time period, shows you in their own very harsh, kind of cold, logical way, that they are there for you and they want to be a part of your life and they have been misread because so much of what they tried to tell you you weren't ready to hear and perhaps this is one of the people that tried to bring you this truth that you are now either confronting or you know running with this person has always tried to clue you into this stuff so there is a difference now in how you view them. You can see that they've always meant well. It doesn't mean you agree necessarily with their delivery. We know you're sensitive, but you understand now some of their, not all perhaps, but some of their criticism and that it was done in love, that it was done in love that it was always with your best interest in heart, you know, at heart. Because, you know, for those of you who are 
embracing change and loving change and wanting change, this is great. But for, the, for those of you who have a King of Swords person in your life who's been trying to tell you the truth and you haven't listened at all, things can feel pretty dicey. The truth can uproot you. The truth can put you on full display in very critical, you know, to very critical eyes and you see your own failure, you see your own lack of progression and it can break your heart. Because how come I didn't see this myself? I pride myself on being quite self-aware. I understand that there is no real beauty without self-awareness. I've tried so hard to put myself in a positive, truthful, honest light. Does this mean that I haven't been honest? It poses a lot of questions for you, especially if you've done a lot of hard work. It can feel like so much of your hard work was for nothing because you may have been well-intentioned this whole time. You may have worked hard in the direction that you thought was best this whole time. So now to be treated like everything you did was disingenuous and insincere, it's hurtful. There are a lot of you who are like, no, I don't want to go with the flow right now. Thank you. You know, the flow is making me feel like I have to negate so much of my life. But that's not what it is. It's only a negation of who you've been if you're still that. It only feels like judgment if you haven't already naturally moved on. It only feels like you are being exposed completely for being the hanged man and judged for it. It only feels like being persecuted if you continue to stay there if you don't move this hurts more and more and more and yes of course there's something to be said for I put a lot of work into this and who I am and I don't see why I should be expected to change think of it more as evolution Think of all the work you've done up until now, not as being done in vain, but further down the line somewhere in your evolution, they those hours, those days where you were swimming in the wrong direction, they're going to come in handy. So put them away for now. They're not for nothing, but you can't stick to something just because you invested a lot in it. You gotta cut your losses sometimes. And the important thing about these truths, these change of direction, this really healthy change of direction, is that it provides you with a much calmer life emotionally. You learn through this like glaring truth telling, you learn how to temper yourself. You learn how to put a gauge on your emotions because when you feel righteous, when you feel abundant and blessed, but also righteous and, and in control, things come to you. Really, really beautiful things, people, opportunities. You, you are a mirror the holographic mirror that's reflecting you back to yourself turns into an exercise in beauty. It's so wonderful and it feels so good and there's no guilt with this because it is what you've ordered. You can tell, you can feel when this love, these opportunities, these wonderful moments when they come to you, when life reaches out its hand to you and says, here's this beautiful thing, you know instinctively that it is a reflection of what you've been pouring into yourself and what you've been projecting out into the world. That's what I mean about don't stick to the work you've done in the wrong direction. It's okay. The passion that you acquired, the passion that you put into all that work, regardless of what direction it was in, it's still valid. You can turn things around whenever you want. 
and the universe responds instantly. So this eclipse may at first feel very disorienting, personal, unnecessary, you know? Like, really, we, it has to be like that? Really? That's a little harsh, you know? It can go from that to, no, yeah, I needed to move on from that, or I need to evolve past that, or that's not true for me anymore. That's not true for me anymore. The truth of me is something much deeper. I'm too big for that small version anyway. Not only are you allowed to change, you are expected to grow. And it's beautiful. And it's worth the pain and uncomfy, <laughs> the lack of comfortability, which is something we've spoken about in the past. But this is past being uncomfortable. This is for some of you, you know, this doesn't feel good, even though this is you. For some of you, this feels like an expose. For some of you, this is too harsh of a light. But the light is here and the light is shining on you and you have to learn how to stand in it. It is Aries season after all. And underneath all this inner work, which you're such a big fan of, and I love this about you, underneath this there is an ambitious person as well who lives in the real world and has needs and desires and ambitions and goals. And the self-work and the inner work is fine. The shadow work is amazing. But also your outer world is gorgeous. What, what is going on? Hold, please hold. There were a bunch of senior citizens ringing everybody's door trying to get in. I let them in. So, this glaring sunlight is not a curse. This change of state is not a punishment. This truth telling that is happening between you and the world is not some sort of reckoning. It's just time to move on. And there is so much of the world that you perhaps would like to hold on to. Of course, you're a fixed sign. It makes sense. But the material world, the financial world, romance, everything is on the other side of you letting go of your idea of yourself. And with Leo's, your idea of yourself is the most powerful motivator is the most powerful generator you can still be in love you can still live a pious life you can still have a lot of fun you can still make the money you want and be surrounded with the friendship and the love that you deserve but only if you are honest with yourself and again, for those of you who live in that space and you have done the work and you have gotten there, tooth and nail, it's a beautiful time. The eclipse solidifies for you that your commitment to self, this beautiful journey that you're on with improving yourself and loving yourself and beautifying yourself, that you're right on and you are supported at every turn and you feel that that providence all around you you feel a sort of cushion of light between you and the world where things are easier things are things go smoothly 
things seem to, you know, lay themselves out at your feet. And anyone, anyone who is in that Leo sun, moon, rising arena has these feelings, even if it's in just some parts of your life, and those parts of your life where you're feeling this free flow of energy and like the world is accepting you and moving to your rhythm, it's those areas of life you will notice where you have already let go, have already accepted a different truth, have integrated some new reality. So if you are able to do that in all aspects of your thinking, which is a very tall order, it will make the eclipse that much more illuminating, but also I think it keeps you safe from some very real booby traps, you know, places where the floor falls in. There are some cracks in this foundation as we approach the eclipse. And if you put too much pressure on those cracks, they will cave. The point is to get out of the structure before it collapses, not lean into parts of it. So extreme, but very happy, very positive. A lot of change, a lot of work, a lot of dedication required, but the payoff is absolutely glorious. The adventure alone after this eclipse, you know, you, you, you catch the bug. The new you wants to be out in the world. And it feels good, it feels right. It feels like you're in control of what you present, what you give. It's not a situation where they're taking from you anymore. You're giving at your pace. Your volition is key now. Only after this, this change is accepted, integrated. You have to be happy about this. <laughs> You have to find your way to be happy about who you are now. Because I suspect that you're getting closer and closer to who you were always meant to be. Which is a wonderful person that I love. I love you. Let's look at these cards. 